Some local bakeries are getting creative when it comes to entertaining their customers. And Emily Bayer, she's in her kitchen this morning with more. Morning, Em. Hi, Brooke and Fish. Hello, everyone. So we are having a lot of fun. This is Uncle Mike's Bake Shop's decorating kit. This week, they're doing a Easter cookie one. Next week, they're going to do a donut one. And then the following week is going to be cupcakes. And they're going to be doing a bunny hut later on. So that should time out to be around Easter. Unfortunately, with this uh, coronavirus outbreak, these are just some really fun activities that you can include to do with your children, your families. I've been having a lot of fun just doing it myself and I'm also learning a lot of things when it comes to the piping. If you take a look, these are some of the <laughs> cookies that I've done so far. And Brook and Fish, this is actually pretty hard. Like now I have a huge appreciation for the people that decorate these cookies because even this one, I mean, I was struggling to get some of the, some of the little pearls to look just perfect. So um, they work really hard <laughs> over there. I don't know who is doing those, but that was tough. Um, so this is just an overall really fun kit. Comes with about a dozen cookies, three different frostings. You do get one of the pastry uh, tips here. It's a star tip. And then you get the three pastry bags. So I have my own little so I've just kind of been kind of makeshift adding as, as I would like but they're also doing a contest so you can decorate these cookies and what they hope you do is that then you'll decorate them um, share a photo of the finished cookies on their Facebook and that'll enter you in to win uh, a possible giveaway they're doing it's a $20 gift card to them so that'll get you entered in that little giveaway but what I really love about Uncle Mike's Bake Shop is they've got so many different little fun things going on they also have unfortunately we haven't been able to have March Madness but they have sweetness madness so this is pretty fun this is cool they started this last year it was pretty popular so they brought it back again this year so you can go through and pick all of the winners that you think are going to be out of these pastries and, and pies and all the, the Kringles and all the good stuff. They have not made these flavor combinations before. So you, the um, customers are voting on them. Once they have a champion, they will make that pastry. So that is pretty cool. So I know before, Brook and Fish, I had asked you about the peanut butter and the jelly filled and the brandy old fashioned. I think while well, Brooke and I are on team brandy, um, fish for whatever reason picked peanut butter and jelly. But the other one, this is kind of hard, glazed cream cheese pocket or black raspberry filled. I think I'm going to have to go with the black raspberry filled, but people make sure you can go and vote. We have all the information for you on our website, NBC26.com. Brooke and fish. Yeah. I think the cream cheese one sounds pretty good. You guys, the, the, Brandy old fat, that brandy belongs in the drink. <laughs> Still on that one. You can't get over that one. <laughs> it's, that's why I didn't pick this it. It sounded better than the peanut butter and jelly one. I don't know. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this morning.